first news according to shine of 2021 and we're going to start things off with a bunch of brand new announcements some trailers and some surprising new things that just got announced like today this morning and it's kind of crazy story number one a brand new hathaway's flash trailer was just released a couple of days ago on the 19th and it shows some brand new clips and images and it looks really good i see i, I like to see i love the new mobile suits well not new mobile suits i love that new shots we got more images of hathaway more about the story hathaway's flash and it looks pretty good i cannot wait to see it and uh fortunately in japan at least it will be coming out on may the 27th 2021 again once again no release date for the north american release so we're still gonna have to wait on that but i'm very really happy that we finally have a confirmation at least for japan at least for japan for when this movie will come out so at least we won't have i hope we don't have to wait a year and a half I do hope we do pull a Gundam narrative when we get it a little bit, a little bit of uh, after after the fact, you know, a little bit, not not too far after the fact. A, a year, a waiting a year for this, that would be really bad because I already waited. We already waited a year because it was supposed to come out last year, but it it, it didn't come out last year. So uh, uh, mark your calendar <laughs> if you live in Japan at least. And for us Westerners, uh, uh, for these uh, people outside of Japan, yeah, I don't know when it's coming. I don't know when it's coming out. No, I'll, I'll keep you posted. I don't know. But that wasn't the other announcement. Next door, next announcement. Eureka 7 High Evolution put out a brand new trailer, which you don't know anything about Eureka 7 High Evolution. These were movies that were supposed to bridge the gap between the original Eureka 7 anime and Eureka 7 AO, the sequel to Eureka 7, which people don't like, but I like. And throughout the course of this, uh, uh, throughout the course of this production, some things stayed the same, some things have gone off the rails, some people were kind of mad because the second movie and people are, are ready to throw Wreck-It-7 under the bus again because of the, the second movie, uh, High Evolution number 2, which I can sort of understand, but I'm really not sure how to take number 2 in Tool. So until this final movie comes out, I won't know what to say about Wreck-It-7 High Evolution. I don't have an opinion just fully yet. I like the movies. Uh, people don't like that a Wreck-It-7 does its own thing sometimes, and it really does do its own thing sometimes, and it, it's really weird. But onto this trailer. You know, we have some really interesting shot. We have this brand new Nirvosh. We have the brand new Nirvosh from the end of the second movie, which he looks really amazing. We got a lot of screenshots. We have uh, the Nirvosh fighting this weird tentacle monster thing, which I don't know why he's fighting it. It looks really cool. We have these brand new, this brand new LFO, which I've seen this LFO before in the previous trailer, which I had a new video on. But this one's on a new hoverboard, and he looks really good. And the hoverboard is, again, for it to be in a Wreck-It 7 mech, the hoverboard must be either attached to the mech or the mech must use a surfboard. And there's a lot of really good uh, scenes in here, you know? There's a lot of really good scenes and I really can't wait for this movie. So at the time of this recording, they have stated that this movie will come out sometime tw uh, this year in summer. So it's going to come out early 2021 in summer. So uh, once again, mark your calendar. Uh, but uh, next door, uh, that's the last door, next door. Boy. Now I'm late on this. This was uh, a long time ago. This and that's a long time ago. But a brand new key visual for Dragon Maid for Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid S uh, has been released by uh, Kyo Annie's or the Dragon Maid official Twitter, and it looks amazing. You know the new key visual is great. You have Toru and you have the new Dragon Girl Iterlu, and she looks great. All I know is one thing: is looking at Iterlu, the easily offended are going to get upset about her. Let's just say her well endowedness, and they're going to get mad. And I don't really care because I, li I like the li I like the way she looks. She looks great. I love it. it. It looks great. I love. I love the art style. I love. I love that uh, we're getting Dragon Maid S. It was announced like a while ago on Twitter that Dragon Maid S was coming out. But here am I. Here I am finally reporting on it. Dragon Maid S coming out. Um, from what I've heard, from what I've heard from the original Twitter, the anime is supposed to start airing in July. That's it. They didn't give a date. They didn't say okay on this specific day in July. No, they just said it's coming out in July. So there's that. Another thing that was seen is on the official. Uh, I think Kyo Any Shop, they actually put out these nice Dragon Maid um, books, these, these uh, art books. So if you don't know what these art books are, they're basically like production notes, the, you know, they're, the, you know, the production details and you know, all this stuff. You know, but basically, if you don't know, a certain anime, once they're done airing, they put out these art books which show all the, um, you know, all the sketches and illustrations for the animes. And they're, they're really cool. They're really cool art books that I would love to get a hold of, except that, uh, Trying to get it through Kyo Handy Shop is probably impossible, and trying to buy them off of eBay from Japan is ridiculous. Like they're already now they're already going for like hundreds, hundreds of dollars, and I do not think I'd even be able to get a hold of them. 
which they're they're really cool art books, and I'm ashamed. I'm really uh, ashamed. I'm I'm really sad that I won't be able to get any of them. They look good. I would love to own these art books. You know, I want to start buying these production books and art books and all these other things so I can have them because I you know I, I like the anime, and the uh, th these are really cool. It has all the sketches of Toru and her different her different costumes. They have the dragon sketches. They have all this stuff. It's really cool. So it's cool stuff, but. I, I will not be able to buy that. Christ. But, that's that next story. <clears throat> next story. Well, finally, your boys at Arc System Works have finally announced Blaze Blue Dark War. If, uh, Alternate Dark War. If you don't know what Blaze Blue Alternate Dark War is, it was a mobile game that was announced when Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle came out. Uh, came out. When they made Blaze Blue Cross Tech Title, they also announced this game called Blaze uh, Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War, which is like a, it's like it's a mobile game of it's a mobile game of Blaze Blue, which I know when people hear mobile game, you know they're all getting mad. And actually, when this was re-announced, people were upset because they're like, oh no, a Blaze Blue mobile game? Why would they make that? And I have to keep pointing out to people that this was announced three years ago. Please, please don't ruin this for me. You know, I've been waiting for this. You know. Um, one of the big thing is it, the trailer. It looks really good. Here's some screenshots. The trailer looks actually really good. Uh, the, the point, uh, uh, from what I've heard and seen, we're going to have alternate versions, obviously, keyword alternate dark world. We might have alternate versions of other characters, which would be really interesting. So you may see some characters like uh, like alternate new already exists. If you don't know, alternate new 13 is already a character that exists because uh, if you follow Mori, the creator of Blaze Blue on Twitter, he already has been drawing all the alternate dark war character designs and all that. You know, we have brand new characters from the series. We have some brand new characters, some old characters. We have a bunch of other things, and it looks really good. And I can't wait to play it. People are gonna, people are getting are mad because it's sort of like a fake Grand Order like game, which I'm like, guys, they were games before fake Grand Order, but it's okay. It's okay. Other than that, this game announced date will be. So the game will launch on February the 16th. So uh, if you don't already know, the pre-order is already up. If you don't know how to pre-order, go ahead and you either pre-order it through the Google Chrome method or you can do it through the uh, Q app method. Which, uh, if you don't want to do the v if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting it up on uh, Google Chrome, just go ahead and do the um, the uh, the Q app method. I'm gonna do the Google Chrome method because then I already know how to do it, but it's whatever. But, can't wait to play it, uh, we'll, de I will, we'll definitely cover it once it comes out. But, until then, next story. Uh -huh.